So far in our discussion of the different structures of materials, we've been able to calculate important things about them. We've seen that there are different structures even for the same material itself, uh, iron or titanium or carbon, and we know that there are different directions and planes. Well, so far with the directions, we've looked primarily at cubic type structures. Here we have a HCP, hexagonal close packed structure, and their crystallographic directions are a little bit different. They don't have a three parameter base, they literally have four parameters, A1, A2, A3, and, and Z. Well, in fact, you don't need all four, you only need three in three dimensions. So we actually use both. So we'll see how this works. When you have a direction that is in the Miller-Brave system, we have four of these directions. And I'll give an example in just a bit, but we remove the brackets first, divide by the largest integer so all values are less than or equal to 1, and then multiply by um, the unit cell dimension A for whichever, 1, 2, 3, or C for the projections. And then we step off these projections. So here's an example. Draw the 1 bar, 2 bar, 1, 3 direction in a hexagonal unit cell. So we're going to go through those steps that I just went through through on the previous slide, and we're going to remove the brackets. Easy enough. Then we're going to divide by 3, the largest value here. So we're kind of going backwards on how to find them from the previous cubic structures we were discussing in the previous lecture. Then we multiply by these projection A. And for Z, we multiply by C. And then we simply construct them. So we're going to start at point O. And we are going to proceed minus A over 3 units along A1 axis. This is all nicely gridded up in thirds. So if you go from O to this point here, this is A distance, distance A from O to out here, and it's divided up into three sections. Same thing here, and to each one of the corners it's divided up into three sections and then made into a grid of triangles. So we first go backwards A over 3 along the A1 axis. Well, here's the A1 axis here, and we're going to go back A over 3. So just one third. And then we are at negative two thirds A. So uh, here's A2. A2 is positive in this direction, which is a little counterintuitive because it looks like it might be going negative, because this looks like it would be going positive. But it's not. This is actually the negative A2 direction. So we're under A2. We go back two thirds. So from this point P, we go back two thirds parallel to this vector. Then for our A3 direction, we only go one third and we go in the positive A3 direction. This is also a little disconcerting because usually to the left is negative, but not so in an HCP. This direction is positive, so we go positive one-third over to this point R. And then for our vector in the Z direction, we go up a single C, so it goes all the way up to this point they labeled S. You'll notice this point S is one-third along this lattice parameter A here, and two-thirds from this point. And then we're going to make this direction go from our starting point to our ending point, from O all the way up to S. 
is the 1 bar, 2 bar, 1, 3 direction. Well, we can also make this into a four parameter system if we know the three parameters already. So if you want to read three parameters and then translate them into the four as, that we just had, this is what we do. We reposition the vector again to pass through the origin. Then we read off the projections in terms of a1, a2, and z. We don't worry about the a3 at this point in time. Then we adjust the two smallest integer values and we enclose them in square brackets with u prime, v prime, and w prime. Then we have to do a conversion using these formulas. Now be careful of these formulas because there's minus signs and primes and so on, so you have to be very careful with them. And then we adjust the smaller integer values and close them in brackets to u, v, t, and w. Again, these are the u, v, t, w parameters right here. Here's an example of how to do that. So we're starting out with a1, a2, and z. And this is a fairly simple one. z is going to be 0. It's just going from here to here. And it's not needed. We already repositioned it so that the origin is right at this point in the middle on the bottom. And our projections along a1 right along here, A. Okay, So we just follow this back to A1 and we found it. Along A2 we follow this back here and we find that it's one A distance along that vector and we don't go up the Z direction at all so it's zero. And we can easily reduce that to 110 and bracket it up. Now comes the even more confusing part. We're going to convert it to four axis parameters. So we have instead of u prime, v prime, and w prime, we have u, which is one third of twice. Let's go back to our formulas here. U prime minus V prime, V prime to V prime minus U prime, and then we have U plus V. Notice that this formula is U plus V, not U prime plus V prime. This is these are not the same things. T is dependent on us calculating U and V first. A lot of students get that mixed up. Okay, so we have U equals one third. 2 times u prime minus v prime. So u prime is right uh, there, v prime is right there, so they're both 1, and 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1, 1 third of 1 is 1 third. v is 2 times v prime minus u prime. Make sure you use your order of operations properly, and we've got 2 times 1 minus 1 is 1, one third times one equals one third. So in this case, u and v are both the same value. T we add u and v, not u prime and v prime. U and v inside here. And then we take the negative of it. So t is negative two thirds. And of course, w is zero. That's the easy one. It's the same thing. W equals w prime. So then six. We find the common denominator. 3 multiply through by that, so 1 third times 3 is 1, 1 here again, negative 2 thirds times 3 is negative 2, and 0 times 3 is 0, and then we put them in our Miller-Brave brackets. I have more of these examples on uh, my site here, uh, some more complicated HCP direction videos. So if you want something a little bit more difficult than this to get a better feel for it, uh, please view those videos.